Hello everyone. Welcome to IT Horizon. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to install Odoo 19 using PyCharm on Windows. Let's move on to the step-by-step -step installation guide for Odoo 19. First, we have to install Python. Before starting the installation, make sure Python isn't already installed on your computer. Move on to the command prompt. You can get the command prompt from start. Now use the command Python double hyphen version. Here you can see that Python was not found and you are getting an error as the Python is not installed. If you have installed the Python, you'll be getting the Python version. Now let's move on to the installation of Python. You must have Python 3.12 or later in order to use Odoo 90. If Python is not installed on your computer or if the version is less than 3.12, you can download the installer from the official Python page. Now choose a specific version. Here you can find the specific version. We have the Python 3.12.12 or we can select 3.13.8. Choose the download button. Now you can select the file. I would like to install the Windows installer 64-bit. After downloading the installer, open the folder that contains it. The downloaded executed file will appear after the folder has been opened. Double click on the file. Make sure to tick the Add Python Execution Path box when you choose the custom installation. Also choose the optional features. Move on to Next. Now here we also just need to set with the advanced features. And again, you can customize the location onto which you just need to install. Choose install button. The second step is to install the Postgres SQL. To install the Postgres SQL, you can move on to the official Postgres website and download the installer and you can follow the instruction. It is advised to use the Postgres SQL version 16 or later. You can find the versions over here and choose the download button Windows x86-64. Once the download is completed, you can open the file. Now double click on the Postgres Windows installer. Now move on with next. Choose the installation directory and again select the components. Move on with next. Set the password. And again choose the next button. And here you can find the port number of the server. Choose next. Again, choose next with the advanced option. And again, move on with next and click on next and wait for the setup installation. Once the installation is done, you can click on finish. Now proceed with next. So here we have to choose the installation option before we are going to continue. So here you can see that Postgres SQL 17 and choose next. From here, move on to the database driver and enable all these. Choose next and again move on with next. Now choose the next button and again click on next button. Choose the installation directory. Choose the next button. Now move on with next button. Again choose next. Choose next. And choose finish button. Again go ahead with next. Click on next. Choose next, move on with next for installation of PSQL ODBC. Choose finish button. Now click on finish. Step 3 is to configure the PG admin and PSQL. So let's move on to the PG admin and open the PG admin. On the left hand side, move on to the object explorer and expand the server. Now we need to set up the password. So let me set the password over here. So you can enter the password for your user Postgres to connect the server. And let's save the password and click on OK. Once it's been set, you can move on to the login group rules. And from here, you can click on the right button and click on create and move on to login group rule. Now provide the name as Odo19. Once it's been set, you can move on to the definition and you can set the password. 
and move on to the privilege and enable all the options. Now you can save the changes that you have made. Step 4 is to install the C++ build tool through Visual Studio Code. You can choose Download Build Tools. C++ is a core programming language essential for developing Windows application. Now let's open the folder. So we know the Visual Studio Build Tool provide a robust set of compilers, libraries and development tools that needed to create a desktop application background and services and various components using C++. To get started with this, you can double click on the OS Build Tool. Now click on continue. Now choose desktop development with C++ and choose all the requirement components and click on install. Once all the required components are selected, proceed to complete the installation. After the installation finishes, restart your computer to ensure all changes and configuration take place properly. Step 5 is to download Odoo 19 from the GitHub. So you can directly get Odoo 19 from the GitHub. And as you just move on to the GitHub, you can see that by default, uh, 19 will be over here. Now you can move on to the code. And from the code here, you would be able to download uh, the code in zip. So click on download zip. And we have to wait for a while to download. Now extract the Odoo 19. Once the extraction then the sixth step is to install the PyCharm. To install the PyCharm, we can just move on to the official side of JetBrains. So move on to the browser. Here you can search for JetBrains. Once you move on to just JetBrains, here you can find two versions, that is the Community Edition as well as the Enterprise Edition. So we want the Community Edition. And upon clicking on download, you can just download the file. Now install PyCharm. Now choose next button. Again, choose the destination folder into which you want to just download and choose next. Here, enable PyCharm, add open folder as project and create association to py and also enable the update path variables and choose next. Now install. Now you have successfully installed the PyCharm on your computer and you can run PyCharm and click on finish. The final step is setting up Odoo 19 development environment in PyCharm. So confirm the agreement and move on with continue button and choose don't send. Now we can open Odoo 90 and select the folder. Now move on with the trust project. Now create Odoo configuration file. So choose Odoo 19. Click on right button of your mouse, move on to new and choose file. Set the file name as odoo.conf where you just need to provide the code. Now here you can see the admin password is given as admin. The DB host is localhost and DB port you can see as 5432. This is the default port number during the creation of the host Chris. You can find the DB user is given as odoo19 and the DB password is given as admin. Now here we need to set the add-ons path. To set the add-ons path, move on to the add-ons. Choose Control Shift C in order to get the path and paste it over here. Environment, that is the virtual environment. Move on to the settings. Choose Python. Choose Interpreter. Choose Add Interpreter. Choose Add Local Interpreter. Now click on OK. Afterwards, we need to set the edit configuration file. So under the current file, we can see that we have already created the Odoo 19. Now let's move on to edit configuration. Here we have the Python. To get the Python, you have to first click on the plus icon and you'll be getting the Python over there. Under Python, you can see Odoo 90. So upon moving on to Odoo 90, you can find the details. That is the Odoo 19. Uh, that is the name of the file. We have to set the script. To set the script, you can move on to the folder to browse the file. Here we have the Odoo bin. You can just choose that and click on open so that the file will be sitting over here. Later, we need to set the script parameter. Use hyphen C. 
the path of Udo 19 and Udo.conf. Set the working directory and click on OK. And you can rent the file. So once you rent the file, if you are not getting the error over here, you can move on to the browser and search for localhost 8019. Create this database by setting the master password, the database name, and create the database. Here we have successfully set up the Odoo 19 development environment using PyCharm on Windows. So thank you for watching the video.